Hello and welcome to the video, Three Serious Grammar Errors. I'm Professor Wynn, a seasoned English professor who has helped students just like you for over 12 years now to reach their personal and professional goals. Thank you for downloading this special video e-report, Three Serious Grammar Errors. I'm so glad you want to learn how to avoid these mistakes, which can lower your TOEFL, TOEIC, and IELTS scores or make you seem less professional at the office. So let's get started. You and I cover three serious grammar errors. Number one, subject verb agreement. Number two, the fragment. And number three, the articles. Subject verb agreement is, in my opinion, the most common English grammar mistake. Our first point comes from basic grammar. Number one, for third personal singular verbs, in the present tense, use the verb plus the ending s or es. Example, the Incan artifacts come from Peru. This is just the uh, basic ending for the present tense verb in English. Point number two, two or more subjects connected by and, a conjunction, require a plural verb. Plural subject, plural verb. Example, the Incas and Aztecs were two indigenous civilizations in Latin America. You have a compound subject with the conjunction and, so that makes it a plural subject, which, as I said, requires a plural verb. Point number three, expressions with every and each are followed by singular nouns. Even when there are two or more nouns connected by and, the verb is singular. For example, each parent and student is responsible for following the rules. Example, every graduate needs to sign the roster before leaving. Yes, it may sound a bit strange, but English is a strange language, as you know by now. Point number four. Sometimes a phrase or clause separates a subject from its verb. These intervening structures do not affect basic agreement between the subject and verb. The rules remain the same. Single subject, single verb. Plural subject, plural verb. All right, let's take a look at our example. The Incas from the southern highlands of Peru were responsible for building one of the largest empires in the world. The Incas is still the subject, though separated from the verb were by the prepositional phrases from the southern highlands of Peru. Sometimes students look for the closest noun and make the verb agree with that word instead, which is a big mistake. Make sure you keep the subject in mind when you write the verb. Point number five. With most expressions of quantity, the verb is determined by the noun that follows of. Example one. Some of the students are going to study in France. Students, which is the plural form, follows of, and thus we have a plural verb. Example two. Some of the bouquet is lavender. Bouquet, which is singular, follows of, and thus we have a singular verb. Point number six. A number of is an expression of quantity. It is always followed by a plural noun plus a plural verb. Example. A number of prisoners were captured shortly after their escape. Point number seven. The number refers to one specific number. Therefore, it takes a singular verb. Example, the number of times the scene repeats in the movie is not important. Point number eight. There is, there are. There is, there are. The singular or plural verb depends on the noun that follows. Example one. There is enough evidence to convict the accused. Evidence is the key word. It's singular, so we need the singular verb is. Example number two. There are too many cars blocking the road to pass by. 
in example two, cars is the key word. It's plural, so we need the plural form of the verb, are. Now, let's turn to the sentence fragment. A complete sentence must have at least one subject, one verb, and must express a complete thought. If it doesn't meet all three of these criteria, it's a fragment. Example one, while studying is difficult, that's a fragment. While studying is difficult is a dependent clause. The uh, reader or the person you're speaking to was waiting to find out, okay, what, what is it after studying is difficult? What comes next? You left us hanging. So it's not a complete thought. It's a dependent clause. I often see this construction in my student papers. Be sure to proofread your sentence for this error. Example two. While studying is difficult, students still manage to get good grades. Well, this is now a full sentence. It also is a complex sentence that expresses a complete thought. While studying is difficult is the dependent clause and students still manage to get good grades is the independent clause, i.e. a sentence with a subject and verb that expresses a complete thought. Why is writing a fragment such a serious error? Generally, you confuse the reader with incomplete information. In the IELTS, you lose one band score. That's a devastating penalty. And in the TOEFL and TOEIC, you lose points for lack of cohesion, that is, understanding. Don't let grammar errors lower your test score or damage your professional image. Learn these 27 grammar lessons in my e-text. 27 Keys to Better English Grammar. Get your copy today at bit.ly slash 27 keys grammar. That's bit.ly slash 27 keys grammar. Now let's examine one of the basic lessons of English 101 class, the articles. However basic, even advanced students who didn't learn the articles early on in their careers have problems later. At this stage of your English career, trouble with the articles is really unacceptable. However, bad usage of the articles makes our number three grammar mistake. What is an article? Basically, an article is an adjective. And like adjectives, articles modify nouns. First, there are only two articles in English, the definite article, which refers to a specific or particular member of a group, or the indefinite article, a or an, which refer to a non-specific or non-particular member of the group. The definite article, the. Check these three cases. Use the definite article, the, when, as in case number one, We've introduced a noun already in the conversation or sentence. Example, the Inca built the fabled Machu Picchu royal retreat. Use the definite article the when, in case number two, there is only one in existence of something that matters. Example, we visited the Eiffel Tower when we visited Paris. There is only one Eiffel Tower, and it's in Paris. Use the definite article the when, as in case number three, we describe exactly which one we're talking about. Example, let's open the mouth back that Jane and Dave gave us for our anniversary. For speakers of Romance languages, in particular Spanish, Portuguese, French, and Italian, there's an unstated rule from my own experience with these languages. When you use the in your language, we don't use it in English. For example, los bancos son corruptos, as they say in Spanish. And as example in English, banks are corrupt. So as you can see, you have the article in Spanish, los bancos, but in English, you don't have the article. No article is used when a plural countable noun is generic or nonspecific, as in banks. A and an, the indefinite article. 
Rule number one. For singular nouns, the indefinite articles are a and an. Rule number two. Listen to the very next word in the sentence. If it begins with a vowel sound, you use an. And if it begins with a consonant sound, you use a. Examples. An apple. An elephant. An ant. A banana. A car. A horse. Learn more grammar lessons so you avoid errors that lower your test score or damage your professional image at the office. Start today with my e-text, 27 Keys to Better English Grammar. Get your copy today at bit.ly slash 27 keys grammar. All right, let's recap the three grammar errors that we covered in our lesson today. Error number one, subject verb disagreement or <laughs> agreement. Error number two, the fragment. Error number three, the articles. Again, thank you for downloading the video report, Three Serious Grammar Errors. Now you have the three grammar errors with examples to avoid. Don't forget to download your activity worksheet to test your understanding of these three grammar points. Visit bit.ly slash 3 gram w. That's B-I-T dot L-Y slash the number 3 G-R-A-M and the letter W. I'm Professor Wynn. Continue to upgrade your grammar skills. For more test tips, visit my blog, EnglishLanguageTestPrep.com. Happy English Studies.